Augustine the Twelfth, the king reprimanded his men and demanded they put to good use all his wealth to cure his deep ennui. For you see, he found that he was sad and lonely ever since his wife, the queen, got mad and rode off on his steed. In a glen beyond the castle wall, there was a tinker, and he was a thinker, the smartest man in all the world. He made a mechanical girl, for you see, his daughter passed away that summer, and Marie knew he could not replace her. He missed his family. Suddenly, a knock at the door went ra da 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 da. And the king's men came in blowing horns. Ba 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 ba. By order of his highness, we're to take you and that thing to present your marvel to the king. And so, over the land and through the castle walls, over the moat and into the great castle hall, when her master urged, the robot girl emerged. When the king laid eyes upon the girl, he was delighted. His men all were knighted. He yelled aloud for all the world, "I'll take her for my queen!" And the man screamed, "Please don't take my child! I beg you, mighty king!" And they grabbed him by his tail coat and threw him in the moat. Shocked to see a tender kiss upon the cheek unleashed in armory. Rocket launchers and flame-throwing guns grew from her sides, and she grew to seven times her size. Run! When lest he expected a knock was heard upon the door, it was his robot girl. For you see, he'd made her indestructible. It seems that she destroyed that awful kingdom, and they lived happily. So you see, the moral of the story is never take a child away from a loving parent. Especially not ones who make children who shoot rockets from their eyes. <laughs>